Hello, my name is Renee Coltrera, and I'm a dental hygienist and the director of education for Milestone Scientific. I'm here today to show you how to effectively demonstrate the single tooth anesthesia delivery system. The STA single tooth anesthesia system is a computer controlled local anesthesia delivery system that will do all of the same traditional injection techniques that you're currently doing but now allows you to do some advanced injection techniques that are not routinely being done with the traditional syringe. The STA single tooth anesthesia system, the plug gets attached to the back of the instrument and there is a power switch in the back. And then the foot pedal will get attached just below the volume indicator. And that foot pedal is now going to be the way that you will begin your flow rates of anesthesia. The carpule of anesthetic will be engaged into the top part of the instrument itself with the wand handpiece. There are several different sizes of wand handpieces determined by the injection technique that is being done. We have a 30 gauge half inch, which is our shortest needle that you will use with your single tooth injection and anything on the palate. We have a 30 gauge one inch handpiece for infiltration injection. And our longest needle length is the 27 gauge one and a quarter used for our IA block injection. The handpiece itself will engage into the top of the instrument, just like so. And we're going to turn it and you'll see that the auto purge light comes on indicating that the tubing has been purged or the air has been pushed out of the tubing. You see that we have our, our vertical scale lit. That is our volume indicator. How much anesthesia we have in this anesthetic carpule and how much anesthetic we will be delivering to the patient. The instrument has a multi-cartridge feature. The multi-cartridge feature allows you to use multiple carpules of anesthetic and inject the patient one time. There are two gold buttons, one of which is a hold to train button. The hold to train button gives you positive voice prompts to the different sounds and different tones associated with the instrument. The instrument has both audio and visual real-time pressure feedback. So when that training mode is activated, it's basically going to give you a tone and then tell you what that specific tone is and what the instrument is doing. In these two sections here, we have our different flow rates of anesthesia, depending upon the injection technique we're doing. The STA is also referred to as the controlled flow rate meaning that the instrument controls that flow of anesthesia at a rate of one drop every other second. This flow rate cannot be replicated with the traditional hand syringe. With this controlled flow rate, you will do single tooth injections as well as anything on the palate. The instrument itself has dynamic pressure sensing or DPS. Dynamic pressure sensing works in conjunction with the single tooth injection. And this horizontal scale represents that DPS. If and when you are doing that single tooth injection and your needle placement is correct, you will begin to see that scale light up for you. Also, this scale during that single tooth injection becomes a measure of pressure. So the more lights you get lit up, the more pressure you have within the, in the area of the sulcus. The third section you'll use when you're doing your traditional injection techniques of your infiltration and your IA block injection. You will see normal and you will see turbo. Normal will have two flow rates. It has a controlled flow followed by a rapid flow. When we are doing our infiltration or our block injection, we will first start in the normal mode. Turbo 
is only to be used if you are using multiple carpules of anesthetic on a particular patient for a particular procedure. Turbo, again, will be used with those additional anesthetic carpules. You'll see the aspiration light lit, meaning that as soon as you stop the flow of anesthetic, the instrument will automatically aspirate for you. You'll see a volume control, how loud or how softly you would like the, the sounds and tones to be when you're in the operatory. And on either side, you'll see feet. And on the feet, this is where the needle cap and the handpiece will rest when it is not in use. Below the volume indicator, you're going to see a connector and that's where your foot pedal will attach itself to the device. For more information on the STA single tooth anesthesia system and clinical studies, please visit milestonescientific.com.